Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be trying and using some new detangling brushes that I've never tried before. So these are the brushes I will be trying out. If you want to see any of my other brush reviews such as Denman Brush, Tango Teaser, Felicia Leatherwood, Michael Mercier or Mercier, whatever, I'll link those down below. But one of the first brushes I'll be using today is the Wet brush original detangler I've never used a wet brush um, it has a bunch of little bristles they're pretty flexible um, and yeah I'm gonna see how this works on my hair so the next brush is the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher. Y'all know I love the Ultimate Detangler from Tangle Teaser. I use it every day in my videos. This one I don't believe is specifically for detangling. It's more so for gaining like volume, but we just gonna use it like that anyways. Next, this is the Cosmology Paddle Comb. I recently was introduced to this and I had to pick it up. It's so different. Um, I've never heard of a paddle comb. The bristles are nice and long. It's like heavy and sturdy. So I'm super eager to see how this works on my hair. And then the last brush is this easy detangling brush. You guys have probably seen it all over Instagram. It's super popular. It's one of those brushes that is um, like flexible. It's honestly, I feel like a knockoff kind of of the Felicia Leatherwood because y'all know that's what the Felicia Leatherwood is known for. And I believe they came out first if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, it has little um like dots in the back where you can connect this little piece so that it's nice and separated so obviously since i have four brushes i'm gonna work in four sections i'm gonna make sure my hair is nice and saturated with water um and then i decided to just use a light leave-in to help with the detangling so i did use the my l organics pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner this stuff is just really good smells good moisturizing and has a lot of slip So I started with the Cosmology Paddle Comb just because I was super anxious to see if this would work on my hair or not and I honestly was disappointed you guys. It just did not do what I expected it to since it's like this nice chunky comb um nice big chunky teeth i thought it was gonna go right through my hair and it really didn't out of all the brushes you will see this one gave me um the hardest time getting through and it took much longer to fully detangle my hair i personally feel like if you are interested in this you might as well just get you a wide tooth comb and call it a day because this thing is 22 dollars it's not cheap um so yeah i was not impressed also the handle because it's made of like this harder material it definitely was hurting my hand when i was detangling so that was something i noticed it does say you can use this on wet or dry hair and i would not <laughs> i would not dare try this on dry hair so overall y'all this was my least favorite brush and i'm probably gonna just clean it up and end up selling it Now next, this is the Wet Brush Original Detangler, and I was not sure what to expect with this. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. When I think wet brush, I think white girls. <laughs> I feel like this is a brush I think, you know, I feel like mostly white women use, but I was pleasantly surprised. Look at how it's getting through my hair so much easier than that last comb, brush, whatever. Um, this just glided right through my hair. It says that the ultra soft bristles are supposed to help glide through with ease, which I definitely agree with. It minimized pain, breakage, all that, and it's tangled so fast. So if you have not tried a wet brush, then I definitely say that they are good. They get my thumbs up. So check these out also not to mention this brush runs you probably about like $7.99 if you get this original one so you're definitely gonna save money if you get this brush as well 
So next I used the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher. And like I said, this is not specifically for detangling, but just look at how it's getting through my section of hair. It's getting through very easily. So I definitely liked this just as much as the wet brush. So this is more so supposed to be used for getting like sleek styles such as um, an updo, a ponytail, and also for teasing to get volume that's why it has these longer bristles um but as a detangling brush this worked really really good so who knows i might just use this in place of my um tango teaser ultimate detangling brush that you guys see in every single video we will see um but i feel like when it comes to detangling brushes like there's really no point of going back and forth you really only need one so we'll see now last but not least this is the easy detangler like i said you guys i was so pleasantly shocked by how well this worked it worked in my opinion the best out of all of the um brushes and combs that i used in this video it worked amazing and i think it's just because the fact that with this brush compared to the Felicia Leatherwood, um, the little piece allows it to become wide. So that's what really helps it to get your whole section all at once and just really get through all of the tangles. So even though I said this was kind of like a knockoff, I will say I do kind of like that aspect of it. It makes it a bit better. Um, the handle on the Felicia Leatherwood was... It made my hand hurt but this one is softer it's not so square so i didn't experience that and this was the best brush out of all of them so just to wrap this video up you guys this cosmology brush is a no for me um like i said i'm gonna clean it up and probably sell it so i'll link my poshmark down below that's where i sell products hair tools things that i just don't use or need um so check the description box and then out of these two brushes i can't really say which one is better i liked them both they worked really good and last but not least this easy detangler y'all this really shocked me and surprised me it worked amazing now i did go to the original website and i paid like probably 18 bucks for this but you can get it cheaper on amazon so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe you guys and let me know which brush is your favorite and which one you might want to use